kwetu kwetu nyumbani kuna watu wa ngambo hii na ile kuna mto iko hapo kuna mama moja aliishi na panya hata wakejenga nyumba wanajenga wamejenga lakini mpaka watoto wake wakamuuliza mama hii panya wamefanya kile wameleta pusi pusi saa ingine sinafukusaga nyoka na hapo na nini Nima? so akaleta kila kitu akaleta panya azitoki kijana moja akaja akamwambia mama juu ngambo hii ni kama panya silijenga kwa mashimo ngoja tuhame ngambo ile ingine akakubali hata kama haku anataka akakubali akasema ishi bea nigotonina hizi panya sitatumaliza so waliamua kuhama ngambo ile wakaenda ile ingine na wakajenga nyumba nzuri na wakukaa kuzuri na walipojenga baadaye wakahamisha wakamwambia mavi usihamishe hata kitu so what happened hawakuhamisha kitu ile guo alikuwa anahamisha moja 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 watoto wakiwa wametulia na nyumba yake akafanish kila kitu ikawa hakuna panya imekuja lakini siku hii ingine huyu sio sio huyu maito akajificha kuna chodo yake moja akaikujanisha akaificha ha? na watoto wasione akafukisha na akaiweka huko ndani alipoiweka ndani baada ya miezi mbili miezi tatu ai watoto wake kumwambia kwani panya tena simehama mto panya imetoka wapi na tumeleta vitu mpya wakachuguza panya sikazana juu panya inazaanaga haraka within one month two months panya sikaanza kuwasubua kama vile wakakaa chini wakaulizana ni nini kilifanyika huyu mama akasema watoto wangu kujeni ni confess kujeni ni waambie mliniambia mimi nisije nikahamisha kitu lakini ile chondo nilipewa na wamama ile chodo yangu niliificha na nikaja naye iko wapi iko pale wakakuta oy. wakati aliificha hapo kuna panya silikuwa simejega hapo na hakushughulika alivuka nacho why we sisi tuliokoka why we sisi tuliokoka why we sisi tumeamini Mungu sana mashida ya kanani inatukuta kwa nyumba yetu yesa kuwa uliacomodate shetani hata kama uliokoka kuna chondo umehama naye kuli kiondo wadha amire na kio uliona hiyo chondo ukakata ukasema ah hii kadogo si baya let me come to the my point deliverance from all evil si umeshuka hiyo so wewe kuna chondo ulihama naye kwenu kuna chondo umehama that is why even the tama mambo yale hata kama unakuwa shetani ana makao unafukusa shetani wa ufukara lakini shetani wa madeni ah shetani wa ufukara lakini shetani wa tamaa ako is the same demon ni vile ame jikategorize ni vile ame jigroup grouping of the devils grouping loneliness is a demon sickness tamaa galatians 5 tuangalie Wagalatia tano hapa ni mwili naye tamaa za mwili ni hii hebu angalia wewe ulifukuza pepo ya kuo, ya, ya ulevi ama ya nini hiyo ulipotoka ukaa na tamaa ya ushuda uchungu wa roho it is the same demon kwa hivyo kiodo umehama na chondo yako ya uko hapa wivu wivu kwa wale warokore then tukienda kukobaleo deliver us from evil nasma ujue ni gani ya yeah, pepo gani inakusumbua ili ukoleo naro ni daimono gani inakusumbua jua hasa kuwa uliokoka Yesu Kristo ni bwana ninaenda biguni na jia imani lakini kuna daimono zile pepo saba in the book of um, Matthew Bible inasema naye huyu mwanamke anaitwa Mary Magdalena alikuwa na pepo saba kuna wengine tuliokoka 
tuko na pepo dharadhini lakini tuna deal na jobless ama where is the, the, the six hatukai kwa miguuni mwa Yesu huyu mwanamke alikuwa na pepo saba anaitwa Mary the Magdala alikuwa na pepo moja ya usherati na alikuwa hapo hiyo deal ilikuwa inajulikana sana katika the book of John 8 inasema ya kwaba naye watu wakaamua ompiga na mawe wow walipoamua mpiga na mawe juu pepo yake ilikuwa inaitwa exposed demon exposed weakness kuna watu wako hapa hawana exposed weakness ama demon pepo ya inaonekana kimwili wako na intano mtu aesaua mtu aesafanya anatamaa na wivu ako na jambo liko gumu linafanya accommodation of the devil chondo gako ni gani lilio nafanya We unacheka wale wengine ni hivyo hiyo ndio tunataka tukibane you god he made deliver john 8 let we read quickly Hebu mimi nitasoma na inaamini ya kwamba Bwana atatusaidia mtakatifu mlango wa nane, mustari wa tatu. waandishi na mafarisayo wakamletea mwanamke aliyefumaniwa katika uzinzi wakamweka katikati wakamwambia Mwalimu mwanamke huyu amefumaniwa alipokuwa kizini. God bless you. That is one demon. When you go back utasikia the same lady. Ludwa atatusomea. Bible inasema naye kukapatikana mwanamke aliyokuwa na pepo saba. Tutakuja hapo. Kabla tufike, tunasoma in the book of Matthew 6. Madayo sita mla Madhao mtakatifu mlango wa sita mstari wa 12. Utusamehe deni zetu kama sisi nasi tuwasamehe hapo wa deni wetu. God bless you. Kwa hivyo kama waisasamehe ya mtu wewe na wewe ni candidate wa kusamehewa. Because life is alternating. Ina alternate hivi na hivi. Kile unahitaji kuna mwingine anahitaji hivyo. Kwa hivyo tunapata ya kwamba kuna hiyo weakness yuko naye kuna mtu mwingine anako naye. Kuna mtu umebeba hapa. Kuna mtu uko na yeye. Kuna yule ureda wiko na yule ureda wikane. Kuna jambo unataka ufanye mtu na yeye ufanye ndio ukadidate ufukusi hiyo shida. Bible inasema ha watu wa muji wa uh, wa Magidala. Hawakuwa. Hawakuwa hata dakika moja wakiona mtu hata moja ako jema ama anafanya kitu mzuri siku moja wa, wakafumania mwanamke ako na weakness na alipokuwa na weakness bible inasema akamwambia apigwe yeye na mawe hiyo ndio sheria imefanyika na Yesu akakaa chini wakamletea lakini solution solution ilikuwa nini hapo chini inasema aje Mustari wa tano solution ilisema aje basi katika Torati Musa alituamuru kuwapiga kwa mawe wanawake namna hii nawe wasemaje Bible inasema aliandika chini na akasema asio tenda dhabi mtu walio hapa kama haja itenda dhabi Mustari wa sita ashukue jiwe moja alimfanya nini kwa hivyo area hiyo iko na pepo ya dha kwa hivyo wako na similarity demon. Kwa hivyo area hiyo vile tumesikia Bishop Jaraba akisema, kwa hivyo kunae labda mashida ya ya third generation or second generation. So labda una fight na uofu wa generation ya tatu ama ya pili. Wao wameshukua mawe wampige. Lakini Yesu anasema Mutu mstari wa saba au walipozidi kumhoji alijinua akawaambia yeye asiye na dhambi miongoni mwenu na awe wa kwanza kumtupia jiwe God bless you God bless you Kwa hivyo area hiyo iko na nini Iko na uofu ama haina Kwa hivyo hapa kuna mtu mtakatifu hapa hapo So do they need to be delivered from evil Ama wanahitaji kukobolewa kwa maovu. Amen. Juu kama kuna yeye si moja angesimama aseme ni miko hapa. Yes, nikuulize swali. Are you accuser? 
Are you accusing anybody? We, my viewer. Kuna mtu na accuse bosi wako. We, uko hapa. Are you accusing anybody? Yes, mwaka ukiisha, kuna mtu umebeba hata kama ni mtoto wako. Hata kama ni bibi yako, hata kama ni bwana yako, kuna boss, kuna neighbor. Saa hizi ukitaka kukoboreo, Yesu asimame akwambie kuwa wa kwanza, vile unampiga na mawe, na wewe ukue wa kwanza. Kama hujaiteda makosa, kuwa wa kwanza kumhukumu. Ukiulizo hivyo, what you need is to be delivered from every evil. Ili uweze kusimama mbele ya Mungu. Tadhania hatupatani na nyinyi. Baba wapatie neema ya kuelewa hii neno. Kuna mtu hapa anataka akuwe vivid. Asikiki akiwa mtu wa kwanza. Anaona yeye is the right person. Na hiyo ndio imefanya sisi tumeokoka tukose kubarikiwa sana because tunasimama as a just. Tunasema sisi ni wenye haki. Hawa watu walishika mawe walikuwa wanataka kupiga huyu mama. Kuna mtu hapa amelia, amekasirika juu ya bosi wake. We unamuakius vile anakafanya, we hujajiagalia vile unakuwa accused. Hello? Ukienda kuakius mtu, ukienda kupigia mtu mambaya, answer ujiagalie. I want to throw a stone. Was there anybody who is, that is throwing you stone? You are ready to throw somebody's stone. How many people they can stone you? Ili tuwe bere ya haki. Jwa lisa ye, ni ime kusikia. Na vile ni ime kusikia. Na wewe, nebua garia nyuma yako. Hawa nao wana kuhukumu. Jwa ya one, two, three. Wewe labda uliteda kitu na ukapita. So kabla uwakiu si mtu, ili uokoboreo na maofu, agaria maofu gani umefanya. Ili usemea mehaki ya bawana, so, ile jibu ulipata, vile usema, hee, hata ni mebalikiwa. It was the masses of God. Kama ugepa katika hukumu, labda kuna weti, tulio hapa hatu gesimama. Wameshika nini? Walimpata na nini? Walimpata na nini? Baibi nasema? Apigwe kwa mama. Walimpata katika matedo. Ama? Na sheria inasema aje? Sheria ya kwako inasema hufai kukosewa. Ama? Sheria ya kwako inafanya unafaa ufanyu vile unataka. Siku weli? Sheria ya kwako unahitaji kusema we diyo mwenye haki. Have you ever do yourself life reset? Kama unadiriti vitu zote, sikikata kushukua simu. Unaona unawapiga, inasikia ikona moto. Unasikia ikona joto. Inakuabia... Aha, delete everything. Ama, a new setup. Unadiriti kila kitu. Unakuwa na factory reset. Hii mwaka, file umehukumu watu wote. Ata sahizi. Wewe umeshukua mawe. Umeshukua mawe. Umeadika watu mabaya vile wame kutadea. Wewe umeona vile umekosewa. Wewe umekosewa wagapi. Na dipa baidu inasema a driving skirisha. Na usitutie kwenye masawishi. Bali utu okoe kama vile tunaoku. Utusamehe madeni yetu kama vile? Mwaka ukieda kuisha. Are you going to the factory reset? Can you take yourself to factory reset? Can you take to the factory reset to your creator? Umuambie. Yes. I'm judging this person. Ivoni na mfikiria vibaya. Hata ni naona hafura hii na mimi. Ni ukweli. Ni naona Mr. Wabani hapa. Vili ya meniangalia ni kama hanipedi. Ok, ui mutu waliteda intentionally. Ama ni nikuwa nyakati sa ubaya. Ju watu wegi walitukosea nyakati sa ubaya. When you are in the bad season, don't expect anybody to do you good. Take this. Understand your season. So that you are not going to judge people. Understand the season that you are living. Ni kuambie kama unalive a good season. Hata ukojoe barabarani watu watakupigia makofi. They are going to second you. 
na kukusupport utatusi mtu uone watu wakikupigia makofi because you are in the good season at the your season so that you are not going to judge people ili ukae na mugu wako usameheo madeni yako usameheo makosa yako usameheo maisha yako ili hata ukiomba utasikika haraka you will never die into the prayer i pray that the time you go before god you are not going to lend prayers nikiomba mtu wote ananisikiza mwaka huu na wote mahali ananisaidia naomba mungu akusaidie usilenti maombi nikopeshe maombi yako ni support some people they are living with prayer renting are you together prayer renting wanakodesha maombi na ukienda hata urare naona watu wengine wamelala juu sija kuambia nani amekoronga na wewe kila kati wote utaishi ukilenti maombi na unikubuke sikiza na unikubuke that is my petition umekubuko kutoka kwa msikiti mpaka kwa kanisa ya kiroho Bwana apewe sifa. Eh. Yeah. Na si hata watu wanakushukuria burden, there is burden carrier, people who can carry your burden even without telling. Unikubuke. Watu watapewa masiko yako. Amen. Watu watakuobea bila kuwajua. Lakini every time, eh, yeah. shukua, eh yeah. namunikubuke. Namunikubuke. Wewe utajikubuka lini? I pray this time that you are not going to live in the renting prayer in the mighty name of Jesus how many people wako katika John 8 wanaenda mbele za Mungu badala wajibiwe wanaambiwa rudi nyumbani ukasameheane madeni yako wewe unakuja na uchugu your sister your brother your neighbor eh hey, baba akalia bila beni baja akalia maombi ya uchungu itoke ndani yetu ili shetani ato akose kuwa accommodated I'm talking about you must destroy the houses that you are the, you are accommodating the devil. Na shetani amejigawanisha alipo jua anajulikana. Alijigawana katika particles. Alijigawanisha na tuchebechebe tudogo. Alijigawanisha atakupatia the evil thoughts. Eh? Atakupatia shetani saa hizi akujagi vile alikuja boo malaika wa kifo hapana. Ataweka kadenti ndani yako. Aweke tu. Jiga watu wote wameshaona jiga ama wameshakuliona jiga ukiona ile mnyama ama mududu uli anafanyaga jiga siigie nika kitu kadogo sana ama na kana kuumaga na utamu ama kakikuigia eh unajikunasikia tamu ama hata unajikunaga unasikia hii na hiyo kamwacho ni kazuri eh kamwacho eh eh ah hata unafanya hivyo unagogogesha Eh hey, unasikia vizuri kama mdudu anaitwa jiga anaigiaga kwa mtu na utamu hata without the devil baada ya hiyo analetaga mashida inaenda isa kuwa kidoda ama iwe ugojo wa jiga i pray today tuangalie hata kama tuna accommodate shetani na utamu tamu alafu tukija hapa tukikoborewa uambio nyorosha jia zako unaambiwa Hapana, niliambia mtu mwingine anyoshe jia. Kaniambia pasta, do you know your spiritual father? Nikikosa kuna daktari. Ha? Eh? Atanitibu mwili. Kuna policeman, kuna nyumba kumi, kuna mabayale wengine. Unajua hao ni nini? Hao wewe ni waroho. Wewe kimahali umepewa ni roho. Unichuge mabaya kiroho na kwenda biguni. Hiyo ingine, that is why chief wako. That is why headman yako polisi yako na dagitari nikikojeka kimwili ni ndugu shidano nikifanya tabia baya niweko shidani hiyo ingine ndio umeashowe kazi yako ni special kamwambia we, wewe e, sawa sawa enda ukachuko na polisi na dagitari juu hii kazi ninasema ugoje kuraumiwa na kukritisaiziwa this is our office that we are ready to be condemned to be criticized to be fighted to be destroyed e hii unaona nimesimama hapa nimejisirubisha hapa unaona niko hapa hii kasi ukikubali hii wacha hiyo yako unafanyanga masaa matatu alafu unaenda wewe sasa iacha ujue hii niko na nadhiri siwezi acha hii nitaacha wakati nitaenda kaburini na sitaiacha hata nikienda kaburini
kwa sababu watoto wangu wa kiroho na wana nimehubiria. Hii kila wakati niki, nikiamuka hivi sionagi baraka na onaga how to overcome criticism. Hiyo ndio kitu ya kwanza. Ni vile nitashida matusi kuigiriwa na kuchukiwa. Hiyo ndio kitu namba 1. Namba 2 how are going to receive my blessing? Ju mimi blessing sa sitagulia gibele upigamizi ndio unakuwa mwingi. Jujue I'm a mouthpiece of God. So kila wakati ninapingwa mdomo wangu nisioge na nisifikishe kupeleka ijiri. So that is how men of God are. Bwana Yesu apewe sifa. Nikiamuka hivi mimi si edhaniagi vile mnaambia leo ni siku jema na ulizaga asante bwana nipatie neema ya kushida majaribu. Tu nipatie gufu ya kuamini imani yangu isipungue. Jua ya sapitia majaribu ukose imani. Imani yako ikue drained. Namba 3 how am I going to receive my blessing? Na vile nitaichunga. Then from there ninaanza kuogesa. Hiyo ingine itakuja baadaye. Baibi nasema hawa na kijiji. Warokore, waobezi, wahuduma Watumishi na wachugaji, mother guildi, hawa mama wa kanisa hawa tuko nao hapa. Watu wale wanaigia msa, ukitaka kuona pasa ni wao wanakuwa wa bere. Hawa watu wabaye waliacha mambo yao, lazima muone kwa kanisa wakawa wa kwanza kuhukumiana. We uko hapa, hakuna nyumba ya mtu hujui. Hakuna mtu wabaya kiacho na akiolewa, akiolewa usiku unajua ulikuwa wapi. Akibarikiwa ulibarikiwa akiacho unajua hawa ndio wanaitwa mafarisayo You know all the story of brethren each and every denomination each and every pastor each and every body jirani yako unajua ni watu wagapi yako naye ni mlango wa kado unajua mtoto wa jirani yule amefuta bangi akawa wa kwanza kuchukua mawe kuwa hukumu Na Bible inasema abaye ni muamuzi praise the living god Abaye ni muamusi Mwesaoba mugu Mwesaoba mugu wa maobi wa pesa Lakini hamujai kutana na mugu wa muamuzi Let me pay you people of God You can pray for the God of deliverance You can pray for every God eh, That you want wa pesa Lakini kunae mugu faino Anaitago wa mugu wa kuamua Hallelujah Anasikilizaga na sikio lake Lakini la mpiri Uwaga anasikia ya kuamua Waeza kuwa ule munapiga Ule mumeshukuria mawe Ule abaya hukulagi juu yake Mugu wa meyamua kumuinua Ju mugu wa kuamua Haoglisagi ushauri kwa mtu Na baibu inasema Hati ya kwaba Hajai itaka mwenye dhabi ya kufe Bali umpatiaga chanzi Atubu na wewe wewe Dio umeadika vitambu Dio umemwekea bahasha ya mia Bahasha ya milioni moja Unamwekelea kwa madhabahu Ya kila kanisa na kila waganga Ukitaka watoto wake waishe What about the just God Wakati ataka isimama Wakati mungu wa uamuzi Wakati mungu wa ushauri atakuja Wakati mungu wa hukumu na uamuzi Atakaya simama kuja pade yako Utasema aji Muogope Wachana mungu wa miujiza ya kupona Wachana ni na mungu wa miujiza hii gine Lakini jiulize Wewe umeshukua Which stone are you lacing to stone somebody? Say, God, deliver me from every evil. The evil things is that things that you are intended. Unafikiria kufanya mtu. Uko hapa nekweli kanisani. Lakini maobi yako, how do you obey kitu yote? Umeobea mtu wa mekuumiza. Labi alitenda. Ama weme. Labi ni kuwabie kitu. Sikize ni watu kikiristo diyo tuome. Do you know maybe you are judging people. And you are in the season of badness. You are in the season of trial. Do you know? Ebu ni kuambia wakati wa ubaya. Si wakati wa majaribu. Labda unahukumu. Kuna season itatu tunaishi duniani. Masiku ya ubaya. 
masiku ya majaribu na masiku ya uzuri the time of trial time of trouble are you together and times of goodness na na hii namuona goodness iko moja juu wakati wa majaribu na wakati wa ubaya inafanana amen usipokuwa in the roho ujue huyu ni kujaribiwa na jaribiwa naye huyu ni nyakati za ubaya nyakati za ubaya sinakaaje nyakati za ubaya inakuwa kasimila ngobe kuku mashaba yako wapi watu wote wanakujaribia kitu inafanana mtoto wewe kila kitu you are see kama ni boma yenu mnapitia kitu inafanana 